Here's how you solder battery terminals. First thing you're going to want to do is find you some terminals. These are pre-tinned. They're copper and they're pre-tinned. So that'll help with corrosion. But you're going to want to make sure you get the right size for your wire. Now you can use these kind right here and just jam your wire down in there. But I don't like this because it allows corrosion to get down in there. So what I'm going to use is these marine terminals right here with the posts on them. And then I'm going to solder these lugs and put them on here. Now to do this, you're going to need a drill with like a 1 8 inch drill bit and a blowtorch and some solder. And then the tools you need for the wire, you know, some wire cutters and stuff. And what you're going to do is drill a small little hole on the top of this so you can solder it. Now you can see our battery terminals are absolutely disgusting. There's just crazy amount of corrosion on them. And the battery's not charging good and it's not starting good. But you can see this style right here it allows corrosion to wick down in here and it causes a lot of problems but we're going to do away with this style and solder our own lugs so first thing you're going to want to do is disconnect both the negative and the positive leads on your battery okay now after you get your terminals off you can see I had to cut this one with a hacksaw because it was so corroded I couldn't get this bolt loose. Get in here with a stainless brush and clean off all these terminals real good. Now it's a good idea to get a cup with some baking soda and pour it on here to help neutralize all the acid build up. And then scrub it down and rinse it off. Okay, now you can see our terminals are nice and pretty. What you're going to want to do is put a little bit of dielectric grease on those terminals so that it doesn't get any corrosion on there. And now you can put your new terminals on. Okay, now I have the little corrosion inhibiting discs on there. Slide my new terminal on there. Now you want to make sure to get these down flat as far down as possible. And then you're going to tighten these nuts up. But don't go crazy with them because it'll mess up the shape of this lead right here. It's only lead. It'll deform it. Same with this one right here. So just get them straight on there right where you want them. You know, perfectly straight. And then tighten them down. Alright, now you're going to want to lay out your terminals and make sure you got enough in the proper sizes. You can see I have these two on here, just temporarily. And then I have two right here. One for the thick wire. And one for the little wire. Body chassis ground. Now the next step is to cut the wires so you can get some fresh wire and this connector has to be cut off now to do this you can use regular wire cutters but you can get one of these large wire cutters from uh, Harbor Freight real cheap I'll put a link in the description where you can find them but they make it real easy to cut this thick wire I mean it'll just lop straight through it like nothing so if you got a Harbor Freight near you or you want to order them, just order them. It makes it a lot easier than using little wire cutters and getting in there and snipping and snipping and snipping and snipping at it. You can just lop it straight off in one go. Before you just go and lop these wires off to the right length, you definitely want to make sure that you have enough play. I've seen them before where 
you know, it's right on the edge right here. And if you cut it, you're going to have to contort the wire and stuff. You don't want it like that. You want to make sure you got enough slack. And you can see, I mean, we got plenty. You also want to take into account the bend of it, what it's going to be when it's sitting on here. And you want to make sure it's a nice natural bend. You don't want it to be all contorted and jammed up on there because it's, it's not going to be good. Now that the wire's cut, you're going to want to offer up your new lug and see just how much insulation you need to shave back. And you can see this part right here, how it goes down. You're going to want to get as much wire in there as possible. You're going to want to put some heat shrink on your wires to protect them once you're done. Now you can use this marine heat shrink here. It has hot glue on the inside of it. Or you can just use regular heat shrink, depending on what will fit over your wire. Now this is a little bit big for the wire, but the terminals have these little lips on them right here. So it's going to be difficult to get small heat shrink over it. So you're going to have to go with a bigger size, but it should shrink down nicely. You don't have to use marine heat shrink, it's just my preference. but. For most of these, I had to use this because um, of those little lips right there. Now I have everything mocked up just to make sure I'm good before I drill and solder these. As you can see, you're going to want to slide your heat shrink down really far because you're going to have to put a good bit of heat on here and you don't want that heat shrink to start shrinking prematurely on you. Now a trick on these, I don't really like doing it. But you can drill these out if they only have a small size, like a quarter inch or whatever. You can drill these out. It's just copper. And you can drill them out so they'll fit on your terminal. I don't really like doing that, but sometimes you have to. But now the next step is you're going to want to take every single one of them off. And we're going to drill a hole in here so you can solder them. Now what you're going to want to do is drill a little hole. This is a 1 8 drill bit. It doesn't really matter what size. Just try to make it a little bit bigger than the solder you have. I mean 1 8 is a good size. It doesn't matter because you're going to fill it in anyways. But you drill a hole. Right in the top of it. Okay, you can see that little hole he got drilled in there. You're just going to repeat the process for all your lugs. If you only have two, do two. If you've got four, do four. Just continue the process until you have that little hole drilled in all of them. And you're going to want to make sure there's no burrs or anything on the inside, so get them nice and clean. You can see I got all these to do. Okay, now you can see I got them all done. You're going to want to make sure to clean them out and make sure there's no little burrs and stuff. Now that we got all those drilled, you're going to want to make sure to get in here with some sandpaper. Do whatever you have to do, but get these extremely shiny. You do not want any corrosion or anything like that on these wires. I mean, look at all the corrosion in them. You got to clean them up good and then get some rubbing alcohol and wash them off. This is probably one of the most important steps here. I mean, it's going to be a pain to solder if they're dirty. It might not even work. So once you get those cleaned up, you can solder your lugs on here. So you can see we got the wires nice and clean now. You're not going to be able to get every last bit of corrosion out of there, but do the best you can and then wash them out with some alcohol. Just use a little piece of sandpaper like that to get the wires clean. And fan them out. That's a good way to get in there. Fan them out and sand it. And then you're going to have to twist them back together to get those lugs on. After you pop those lugs on, you're ready to solder them. Okay, now to solder these wires, you're going to want to get a blowtorch and put it on the lowest setting possible. 
and make sure you don't burn anything and you're gonna want to heat up here and heat the back of it too if you can get to it and you're gonna feed the solder in this hole don't just let it puddle up on it but you want to get this nice and hot and you want that solder to transfer down into the tube you see how it's running on the top that's not what you want See, it's not hot enough. Now, it's gonna burn that insulation a little bit, but that's fine. Just don't let it fire get out of control. And you're gonna have to sit here and keep heating this up until you get it hot enough to flow in there. It's gonna take a little while. But see how, see how it's, now watch it. It should disappear when it soaks into the wire. Come on. See how it's disappearing? See how it's disappearing? It's soaking into the wire. Now take your torch away. and feed your solder in the hole. You're gonna wanna keep doing this until solder runs out the base. Okay, now you can see the solder's running out the bottom. You're gonna let it cool down a little bit and then come and just heat up the top of it with the torch and just fill that hole with solder. And repeat this process for all your other wires. It's a good idea to get a wet rag like this, soaking wet rag, and wrap it around there to protect the insulation and the heat shrink. Now on those big pieces of heat shrink, you probably want to slide them on after because they're probably going to get shrunken up on these really thick wires. Okay, now you can see that we have them all soldered up. They're all soldered nice and pretty. What you're gonna do is take your heat shrink and slide it back up over it. Now you wanna make sure you don't go too far because see when it sits down on here, you want the heat shrink to stop right about here. So you know, just judge it that one looks pretty good. This one looks good. Now remember, it's going to shrink, so slide it up a little more than you think it needs to be. And hit it with your lighter. Or a heat gun if you got one handy. Make sure there's no gas exposed and stuff when you do this, but I mean, that kind of goes without saying. See how it shrunk perfectly right where we wanted it? Just continue. Until you got them all shrunk up. Get the tops of them too. You might have to rotate the wire, twist it around and stuff. All right, there you go. That's how you solder lugs for your battery terminals. They're nice and secure, nice and pretty. Ran where they need to go without too much strain. You're gonna wanna make sure you get in here and clean up all this solder and stuff that dripped everywhere when you do this. Thanks for watching, guys. Like. And subscribe if y'all enjoyed this video. Later.